have koalas on their properties and they do want the best thing for their koalas and they still do the wrong thing, even when we've explained to them in the past that it is the wrong thing to do. Um, this female came in, can you see her bottom? See how dirty that is? Oh my God, it was the worst cystitis. It was so bad. She didn't have ulcerated cloaca, but the staining and the, um, it was just really, really bad. And as I've told you, 98% of the females, when they're showing signs of chlamydia, not a good ending. So I took her to the vet, expecting that she was going to be euthanized. And when we got her on the table, this hand comes out of the pouch. It's, it's like a miracle. It truly is like a miracle. It's like looking at a unicorn. That girl managed to have a baby with that terrible disease. Unfortunately, the member of the public that brought it in had seen flagging on YouTube and decided that she knew what she was doing. And um, the baby died the next day and the mum died a week later because it had fallen out of the tree because she didn't know what she was doing. To go from seeing that and just being overwhelmed, I mean, you can still see so overwhelmed. To see that, that she managed to give birth to that little life and it was unnecessarily taken. It's heartbreaking and devastating for all involved in it. It was just an absolute tragedy. But it's a lesson. Like I say, every koala is teaching us something, even when they're doing it in the, this fashion. It's not as simple as it looks. It and seems really strange that people without any training would attempt it because it looks so complicated. I imagine even when you know exactly I'm what you're doing... I'm sorry to say so that this, the woman that did this is the same woman that left that joey out for 24 hours saying, look, reunite with his oh, mother. Yeah. Oh, Everyone just, wants to be a hero. So she on. needs you for that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, so she's, she's the best one of our lips. Okay, I'm likely going with this and start writing this down. <laughs> oh, just kidding. <laughs> I mean, she, she was devastated when that happened too. She was also devastated when that Joey died, the one that she left out for 24 hours, not changing her habits at all. Mm. So, yeah, anyway, it is what it is. And that was just, it was awful. Um, and I just hope, I hope that she doesn't do it again. So you could, sorry, uh, mm. so you, um, if someone's been really difficult like that, there's no law that you can not use to get on their land and they decide what happens if they, if you come onto the land and tell them what the fate of that koala is likely to be and they say well then you can't take it then you can't take it yeah quite often we won't tell them what the fate of the koala is likely to be until we've got it um, and it's been to the vet i can say it's got chlamydia it's really sick i don't know what its chances are going to be but we'll give it its best shot which is absolutely all true like i said when that girl came into the into the um, to the vets and we got her on the table and that little hand came out. We were just like, oh, that means she doesn't have cysts. If she's been able to have a baby, that means she doesn't have cysts. So we can treat her. So we were immediately so incredibly hopeful, which is why it was so devastating when that eventuated the way it did. But if you come on and, you, and they ask you, and you, I'm honest with them, it's really sick. And I list off all the reasons that I can tell them it's sick. But if they say, well, if you're just going to kill it, or and, and there are people out there, I'm sorry to say, there are people out there that go, I oh, don't take your koalas to friends of the koala because they just kill them all. <coughs> like that's what we want to do. Yes, we have to euthanize them. Do we want to? Of course we don't. Do you think I give up every moment of every, every one of my days, every day a week, I'm doing koala stuff? So someone have a chance of that mentality Absolutely, yeah. And unfortunately we have to wait until it moves to their next door neighbour's place and hope that we can catch it there, you know. It's there, like I said, some people you cannot educate. 
it doesn't matter what you do or how you do it. Um, you can be as you know, calm and nice as possible and explain it to them in a way that you would hope that they would understand and some people just don't. They, they like the idea of having koalas on their property more than they like the idea of those koalas actually being healthy.